Hello my dear students, how are you? Okay, so let us begin our chapter. Can you tell me which is our today's lesson? Yes, it is fun with numbers. Really, we are going to have a lot of fun here in this chapter. Okay, so from the name of this chapter itself, it is understood. It is all about numbers. It is fully about numbers so you know you have learned many things about numbers tell me which is this number it is four as you all know it is four you just imagine i'm giving you four chocolates will you be happy obviously sure isn't it okay so this is four can I group into a bundle of 10? No. Why? Because only 4 are there. Not more than 4. And uh, now you tell me, what about this number? Which is that number? Yes, it is 15. It is 15. 15 means can I group it into a bundle of 10? Yes. How many such bundles I will get you? Just imagine there are 15 chocolates with you. Just make it into groups of 10. So how many groups of 10 you will get? You will get? Tell me. Yes one group of 10 and will there be any chocolates left with you five chocolates will be there in your hand without forming or without joining this group isn't it so when we make this 15 into groups of 10 we will get how many group of 10 one 10 one group of 10 and 5 will be left with us that is 5 ones is with us okay 1 10 and 5 ones same way if it is um, which is this number it is 27 so just imagine you are grouping them into groups of 10 so how many groups of 10 you will get? You will get two groups of 10. And how many ones will be there? Seven ones will be there. Okay, so this, the number, this is known as the place of this number is ones. And this is tens. So in 15, we have one tens and five ones. In 27, we have two tens. Two is there in tens and seven ones are there. Now tell me. Which is this number? It is 99. How many digits are there in this number? Yes, it is a two digit number. One digit, second digit. It is a two digit number. What about the first number which we wrote? That is 4. How many digits are there in 4? It is a single digit number. That means it is a one digit. Only one digit is there. Only four is there. This is a two digit number. We have two digits here. 99. How many groups of tens are there? Yes, nine tens. And how many ones are there? Nine ones. So the place of this is ones. And this is tens. Okay. So, which is the number just after 99? The number which comes after 99. There's a word for that number. The number which comes after a number is known as successor. Okay. 
and the number which comes before which is just before a number is known as predecessor so successor and predecessor so which is the successor of 99 when we add 1, how to get successor? Just add 1 to the given number. So if I am adding 1 to this number, this is the number now. If I am adding just 1 to this, which is that number? It is 100. It is 100. This number is 100. Okay. And is it a two digit number or a three digit number how many digits are there in hundred is it two or three yes it is one two three or one two three three digits are there it is a three digit number so this hundred there's another name for this it is Century. You might have heard in cricket. The only scored a century. What is meant by that? The only scored 100 runs. That is what is a century. A hundred, century means it is 100. Okay, so which is the number just after 100? If you are adding 1 to 100, that is successor of 100. Which is that number? It is 101. Then we have 102, 103, 104, like that it goes on. So this 100, the 100 is the smallest three digit number. Because just before 100, that is the predecessor of 100, which is the predecessor of 100. 99 is the predecessor of 100, that is the number just before 100. To get predecessor, we need to subtract 1 from the given number. So if we subtract 1 from 100, we will get 99. So how many digits are there in 99? We said it before, only 2 digits are there in 99. And in 100, it is 3 digit. So this 100 is the smallest 3 digit number and 99 is the biggest or largest two digit number okay so tell me which is the smallest two digit number just think and tell me which is the smallest two digit number yes you are correct it is 10 10 is the smallest two digit number because just before 10 or the predecessor of 10 it is 9 9 is a single digit number or a one digit number i'm writing a number two four seven okay two four seven how to read this yes it is two hundred forty seven two hundred forty seven so already we know the place of the seven it is ones or units the place of the last digit is always ones or units and 47 47 means 40 40 means four tens so four is in tens place and 247 so the place of two is hundreds. Okay, so two hundred forty seven. Two hundred forty seven. Same way. How to read this number? Yes, it is three hundred. 3 is there in 100's place, 3, 100, 9 in 10's place, 9 in 10's means 90, so 3, 100, 90 and 2 in 1's place, 392. Now let us see how to expand these numbers, okay, so...
how to read this number 400 four is in hundreds place 33 433 this number is read as 433 so 400 how many hundreds are there four hundreds are there so four hundred plus what is there in tens place three three means three tens means what is three tens three tens is three times tens three times tens is thirty three tens is thirty then we have three more numbers with us that is three ones are there with us so this 433 is expanded as 400 plus 30 plus 3 let us see another example 982 982 Two. Nine in hundreds place, eight in tens place, and two in ones place. So nine hundred eighty-two. So how we will expand this? Nine hundred from that word itself we will get it as nine hundreds are there. Nine times hundreds, just think one time hundred is only one hundred. Two times hundred is two hundred. You just imagine that you have 200 rupees notes in your pocket so what is the total amount in your pocket 200 rupees notes means 200 same way here 900 are there so it is 900 plus how many tens eight tens because eight is in tens place eight tens means eight tens eight times tens is eighty so eighty plus what is there now two in one's place so nine hundred plus eighty plus two that is nine hundred eighty two now let us see this example six zero nine six zero nine how to read it? It is six hundred. Six is in hundreds place. And nine. Is there anything in tens place? No. It is zero. Zero means nothing. Nothing is there in tens place. So it is six hundred nine. How to expand this number now? Six hundred means six hundreds are there. Plus. What is there in tens place? Nothing. Zero is there in tens place. So there is no need to write anything there. Or if you want, you can just write a zero. Plus in ones place, we have nine. So this is how to expand this number. So it's hundred nine. Okay, so it's hundred plus nine. If it is a two digit number like um, 72. 72 how to expand this number in hundreds place nothing is there in tens place we have seven that means how many tens are there seven tens are there that is 70 plus how many ones two ones so 70 plus 2 72 that is how to expand numbers okay i think it is clear to you how to expand numbers now you just imagine that you are going to a shop to buy some things so the shopkeeper said that um, the total amount what you want to pay is uh, 439 rupees okay 439 rupees and you have only 100 rupees notes 10 rupees notes and 1 rupee coins with you so it is 439 how many 100 rupees notes you will give to the shopkeeper 439 think of it and give me the answer yes it is 400 rupees notes you will give so it will be 400 now you want to give 39 more so you how many 10 rupees notes you will give three 10 rupees notes that is correct three 10 rupees notes of so 400 plus 30 now nine more you need to give so nine 
one rupee coin you will give to the shopkeeper isn't it so it will be 439 okay so now we have seen the smallest uh, three digit number can you tell me which is the biggest or largest three digit number yes it is 999 999 900s are there 910s are there that is 90 and 91s are there 999 can you tell me which is the successor of this 999 if successor means I told you, just add one to that number, we will get the successor. Yes, the successor of 999 is 1000. See, 1000. How many digits are there in 1000? Is it a three digit number? No, it is a four digit number. 1000 is a four digit number. So 999 is the biggest three digit number and thousand is the smallest four digit number okay i hope this chapter this is clear to you thank you my dears for watching